Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are going to do a Dead Mouse sounding synth in Serum today. So we're going to put this to 175% so you can see what is going on. Uh, help my eyes also because I'm blind as a bat without glasses. So uh, the I've just made a quick um, arpeggio here. So the the sound that I've gone for, I've just built this in the last 10 minutes just to literally give you something that sounds dead mousey from this and I've tried to keep it as simple and basic as possible because that is really his signature so here we go so as you can hear it's very dead mousey there so let's just turn everything off so we don't get disturbed uh, I think that is everything. I'm just going to put my phone on silent for you guys so we don't have to uh, hear any texts coming through. Right, so what we're going to do in this synth is create some simple harmonics and some simple kind of envelope usage. So here we go. So we're very full out and long at the moment. We don't have any filtering going on whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to choose basic shapes, saw wave, and we're going to use envelope two to modulate the filter and envelope one to control the pluckiness. So pluckiness. Sounds pretty nice already. I've just dropped that. So we'll leave it there for the second. Um, and what we're going to do is add some unison. I'm going to add three bars and we're just going to tailor it to sound. I'm going to have it quite close together. Okay. And now we're going to use the filter. So let's use 24. We're going to use envelope 2 here. So let's make a very similar looking um, envelope. Okay, we're going to leave the resonance up a little bit because it just helps it shine through a little bit more. Let's turn the volume back up. Alright, so we've got the basics there. Um, now we want to be able to turn this uh, down. So we're going to reposition the cutoff. And we're going to use this macro control here to filter it in. Okay, so when it filters out, which is this position, we want the decay to just go up just a smidge. Uh, but what you're going to notice is on envelope one the most because this is shaping the sound. there when it's filtered off and about there that's sounding pretty good um what i didn't do in the original one is use some drive let's just counterbalance the master here just to boost some of those harmonics in there. Now to make it peek through the mix a little bit more, we're gonna put some noise on there and we're gonna go into analog and we're gonna go into ARP white, pitch it fully up and then we're gonna test the level here whilst fully up. And we're gonna route it through the filter. You can hear here. Just adds a little bit more on the top. Um, from there is uh, pretty much it. I want to keep it as simple as possible. We've added the unison, we've added some filter movement and uh, boosted the harmonics, we've added some noise onto the top of it. We've used the envelopes to control how it sounds and uh, how the filter is controlled here. So if we just tweak this a little bit just to show you what's going on. So 
if we have here. We want it nice and smooth. Okay, now if you wanted to add a little bit of sub on there, we could add that in. We can also route that through the filter here. But because it's a synth sound, I don't want to do that. I'll add the sub in using uh, Serum again and use some uh, basic shapes again to double up and use the sub to boost it up a little bit. But um, this is what I like to call an all-round patch um, for using to get tunes started. So let's have a listen. So the only difference is now we haven't got Portamento on. So let's go back here. Uh, we're going to use mono because we never have one more than one note playing at the same time, even though we've got that rolling bass at the bottom, but we can uh, obviously remove that. And we'll put always... just to kind of portamento pitch shift it through to each note um, so it's got a bit of a shift rather than it just being note to note so I've got a bit of a glide on it that's what I'm looking for um, so that is a very simple preset um, you can use it for any style of music really but uh, that is more specifically sounding like dead mouse <laughs> So I will save that now for you. We're going to call it, let's call it lead and we'll call it Malmus. So, because it's Christmas come early, giving you a preset. I haven't done one for a while. So that's LD Malmus. Um, you can find that in the description below. Uh, just head over to my Facebook page and you can download it for free there. So uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, you make use of this because it's entirely free. Always will be free. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.